Hey guys, welcome back to another Adrian Graphics and Marketing tutorial. Today's video is gonna be a lot of fun. If you're looking to design a perfect business card, this will be the tutorial for you. Today, I'm going to continue on with a project we've been working on for a while, which is Gingery Law Group and Gingery Hammer and Schneiderman. And we did a logo design for them. Actually redid their logo, revamped it, made it a lot better, which I can show you here. But now it's time to take the next step. Now we need to take this logo and actually put it into a real world. You can tell here I lined everything up nice, everything's nice and even now. And you can see the difference between this dainty little thin lined logo to this nice, bold, really memorable, unique concept. So now I want to make a business card design to go along with it. This is what's really going to wow them. And then at the end of this, we're going to do a, a mock-up of that business card. So there's three things I want to cover with you guys today and we're going to jump right into it right now. All right, so the first thing we need to do is hit new, file new. We're gonna go 3.5, that's what a business card size is, by two, that's the size of a business card. We're gonna use two artboards, right? And then we're gonna add a quarter inch bleed, top, bottom, left, and right, and you're just gonna hit create. There you go, now I have my two artboards. I'm gonna go ahead and click the rectangle tool. I'm just gonna click anywhere on here, doesn't matter. And we got 3.75 by 2.25. That's exactly the dimensions that you want. That's with the bleeds. And you can see here, there's gonna be a stroke on here. So you just go down here and click that. Just click the little black stroke and you'll hit this little none and it'll get rid of that. Now I can click back to my selection tool and I can click and drag this guy right back to where it's supposed to go. Right here, it looks perfect. And I'm gonna just go ahead and hold over my alt, do the same thing. I'm gonna click and drag and duplicate that layer. Put that over here, perfect. So that's the first step. We're gonna move this out of the way. I'm gonna hit layers. I'm actually gonna lock both of these and I wanna build on top of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new layer there. Now, one of the most important steps is now that I have this set up is we gotta come up with a layout. We gotta come up with a design that actually is gonna fit their current logo design. So what I always love to do is I love to start by doing some research. Research is a big part of logo design and graphic design and print design, all that fun stuff. So what I did, and this is what been my general rule for many, many years, is I go to Google and this is one resource for you. And I just typed in award-winning business card design. This is gonna give you some of the coolest, most unique business card designs. And what I do here is I'll just skim through and if something catches my eye, something special, something unique, something different that I haven't seen before, I'll try to take that element and implement it into my design. The research phase of this is incredibly important. That's phase one, you gotta do your research. Not only do you need to do your research on Google and look up for some cool concepts and layouts, but you also need to look at their existing website. So this is their current website. They got this little notch in here. So I kind of created a, a, an idea in my mind with a little notch. They're using a lighter blue. They're using like a navy blue and a white. Those are pretty much the themes. And then as you scroll down here, I noticed that there was a little bit of an arc. So I have a couple different concepts in my mind, one with an arc on the design, one with a little notch out of the design, and we're gonna use these colors. If I wanna pull these exact colors, there's an easy way to do it here. You just right click on the page. I can hit inspect element, click this little guy right here, and then I can scroll down and you'll see here, here's those colors. So these are the actual Pantone colors we're using on the website, that navy blue. So I have those. So that's a really important part of the research is getting those right colors in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back over to Illustrator real quick so I don't lose it. I'm just gonna create and drag a little box and I'm gonna fill it with that color that we were just looking at. So I need to just paste this in here. There we go. So there's that color, I have it saved now. I can do the same things with the other ones, but you can also look at their social media, you can look at their Facebook page, their Instagram, and pull some inspiration and some ideas for their layout based off of that. And then the last one again, so website, social, and then Google, like I showed you here, just looking through concepts. Now what I want you to do initially, and this is phase two, is start to come up with some concepts, some different layout styles and some different design styles. And if you need to, you can just go over here and add some more artboard, artboards. So if you hit document setup, edit artboards, and I can literally just hit this little plus sign and boom, it adds another one. I can add another one. So there we go. Now I have four artboards on here, right? I can even rearrange them if I want, but I want to have four different layouts. What I'll need to do real quick since I added a couple more, unlock these and I'm just going to, whoops, I'm going to duplicate these. Now I have an idea I can do at least three different concepts or four different concepts. One of these is going to be the back, which I'll probably just keep it really simple. I'll do this color right here as the background. There we go. I can delete that out now. So this will be the back of one side of the card. Now I already have the logos open up here, but we're not going to do that quite yet. I want to come up with some other concepts and layouts. So what I'm going to do 
is I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna drag this down right here below it. Okay, my first concept that I have, and I actually drew it out here on a piece of paper, is the triangle to the left. So what I need to do is I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna draw some guides, so hit Command or Control R to make sure your guides are up there. Put that right there in the middle. Okay, I'm gonna have that in there, and I'm gonna take this guy and I'm gonna split this in half. Boom. Right there, and then I'm gonna drag this back up, up to the top, so it's nice and centered. There we go, there we go. Bring this to the top layer, and then I can just kind of drag this away and grab this guide, if unless it locked the guides. So let's see here. Smart guides, guides, here we go. Unlock guides, there we go. Okay, so now that I got that, I'm gonna move that out of the way. Pull that out of there. All right, so I'm gonna make this bigger. So this is gonna be my first concept. I have it split on one side, and I can do something like this, where I can go like here, have it blue on the one side, there we go, and then have it white on the other. I could just take the logo right here. Let me just grab this full color one real quick. There we go. So I got to have all outline. I'm going to transform. I'm just going to make this smaller. That's about as big as I want to go there. And now what I need to do is take this, copy this. I'm going to delete it. I'm going to make this right here in the center. I like that little shadow there. And what I can do is I can go like this, like this, like this, and like this. I'll just bring it back and center it again. It centered it right to the left, but at least I have it centered top and bottom. Oh, that's actually really, see? Some of your best designs can come by accident. So we're gonna actually gonna play with this. So I'm gonna take my pen tool here. Look at that, I kinda have that little cool little cutout. So this could be one concept. I have that dead center, and then I can take that text here and either put this up top on the left, make this a little smaller there, there we go. I can put this here. Up top, I'm not sure if I'm liking that so far. I wanna make a really, really nice looking card design. Um, let's do this real quick. Let's go over to appearance and let's just delete the drop shadow for now. That'll make it easier to read. We'll do the same thing here. We can get rid of that. There we go, drop shadow, we'll turn that off. There we go. So that makes it nice and clean. Um, I'm not really feeling it in this direction, to be honest. I really think that the logo should just go right above it, centered. So I'm just gonna grab these, this guy and this guy, center these two, there we go. And maybe we'll take this concept and save it for the other one that I had in mind. So I'll just move this down out of here. And then over here, I can bring all this up. Whoops. This is why I usually lock that piece, but bring that up. And then I can bring this up top here. Let's just center this. That's about right, right there. It's pretty standard. That's centered, and then I can type in the main owner's name, or just say Justin Gingery, right? Get that in there. Change the text to white. Let's just go there. Boom. I'm gonna use a similar font than what we to what we used in the logos. So that font here, you can see, is called Baskerville. So I want to use something similar that's professional and clean. So I'll just go in here. See if we can find a different version of Baskerville. So just a Baskerville regular or Baskerville, Baskerville URW. Let's see what that looks like. That's really nice looking. So we can put that there right in the center. If you want to know where the center is, you just click on it and grab a guide. You can see the little blue line's gonna stay right there, boom. So that's a pretty nice concept. It's clean, but it's kind of boring, right? I, I want to do something a little bit more exciting than that. So let's go in here. Let me show you, let me hide. Where's the guides at? There we go, guides. We're gonna hide the guides one more time. Got injury.net, that looks pretty clean. I could center it if I wanted to. Uh, where's our paragraph tool? There we go, I can center this. That actually looks pretty nice. Just get that, that spacing nice and neat. That's a clean, simple car, but it doesn't have a whole lot of personality. I wanna do something a little bit better than that, so let's have some fun. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make this really easy. I'm gonna grab this logo and this. We're gonna copy them, alt or option, and drag them over. There we go. And then I'm gonna take this triangle or this uh, diamond shape here. It's basically a box. I'm gonna duplicate it, copy and paste it. I'm gonna make it white. And I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. There we go. Oh, I was holding shift. I was holding shift and doing that, so you know. And then I'm gonna bring this back behind. Above the blue. There we go. And then what I'll do is I'll just line these up. Hit this. Boom, it's nice and centered. And I can bring this down. 
to something like that. And if I really want to, I can bring this up a little higher. And then bring this up. Something like that. I think that looks pretty nice. Now the problem is, is we gotta make sure that we can fit the company name up top <clears throat> with it still looking professional. I like this concept, but I think on the front side, because we're gonna have it big on the other side, we're gonna need to make this smaller. So let me just go a little smaller. It's got a little notch in it, kind of like their website has. There we go. Something like that. I may even be able to put it to one side. Let's see, let's go over here. And then I can bring this over to the right and fill in that space. Let's hold down shift. It's pretty good spacing right there. Bring this one over, bring this old shift, bring this one up a little bit too, right around there. And you're still gonna have the notch in there. That's a pretty unique concept. And then I can take the same contact information drag it over here and we just lay it out a little differently. So from something like this, I'd probably go, whoops, go like this, bring it in there, separate it like that. And then same thing with the address, separate it like that. Just, you're gonna go with a wider layout. Um, I like this concept. I think it's kind of unique and creative, but I really want something that's gonna pop and wow them without making it too busy. So I think that uh, we're gonna go with one more design concept that I have here on my uh, on my current design So let's just go ahead and give that a try. We're gonna do a nice white clean kind of corporate design So we're just gonna get rid of that hold the alter option. I'm gonna move this over here Just bring this over here and we'll make it blue Oh Bring this up. Whoops. Grab this all There you go so if we really want to, we could stick Justin's name in here, name and title. I'd have to bring that up more. We were able to try out three different concepts here. So these are three really nice designs. And then on the back, we're gonna take the other concept from here. There we go. And we're just gonna drag it right onto the back. So I'm just gonna unselect that. Command C, we're just gonna paste it right there onto the back. Command G. I'm gonna hold down shift or control actually, control or command and shift. And then we're gonna drag it right onto here. Boom. And I'd like to incorporate the little dot pattern, but I think it's gonna make it too busy. So this is just a really nice, clean, simple business card layout. There's the three different designs, logo on the left with a stacked, logo on the horizontal side uh, like this. And I can bring this down now. There we go, like that. And then we have kind of a split split design where we have both of these in here as well. So just some simple concepts I wanted to show you guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, the like button, and I look forward to seeing you guys on the next one. As always, I'm Adrian Boysell, and keep looking up.